I think this is a rather fascinating experiment that I'm working on here. This is a semiconductor that I've recently made. Uh, it's known as um, bismuth telluride selenide, I think is how you say it. So it's Bi2 Te 2.7 Se 0 0.3. Um, and it's a, it's a thermo material. And what's fascinating about it is that if you apply heat on, on one side and cold on the other side, it'll create electricity. And, it, and we're talking a tiny amount of electricity, but I think it's interesting nonetheless. So what I have set, set up here is um, two different devices. So um, this probe here, this red probe and this black probe is to a multimeter. So this is a multimeter over here. And then these kind of um, skinny wires right here, those are um, a, a, a um, basically a thermometer. So um, on this gauge here, this is the thermometer. So right now they're roughly the same. So um, the T1, which is this side, is 11.2 degrees Celsius. And then T2, which is this side, is 10.6. So they're basically the same temperature right now. And you can see here, it's basically producing zero voltage. And so what I have is um, a, a soldering iron. So again, this is not very much, I'm not putting a lot of heat energy in, into this, but it's neat that it's gonna make anything. So if I apply heat to this side of the thermo material, if you watch, oh, oh I shouldn't do the tape. <laughs> a little bit of smoke there. Okay, so if I apply heat to the uh, right side, we'll see that the temperature, uh, this, this temperature here will start to climb in a minute. Okay, so I'm at 15 degrees, and then the voltage is climbing. So, I mean, this is a tiny amount of energy. So right now we're looking at whatever that is, uh, six ten thousandths of a watt. So this is a little bit, but it will, but I'm only eight, this is only an eight degree difference in, um, from the hot to the cold. Now we're at nine degrees. So now we're at one milliwatt there. I'm sorry, one millivolt. So I've got a 12 degree difference. I'm at 1.2 millivolts. One point six millivolts, one point seven millivolts. So, anyways, when you when you heat one side, it will um, the electricity or the the electrons will flow in one direction, and then as it as it cools back down, what's kind of fascinating about this? So, as this cools back down, that the the, um, the voltage will go back down, and then the temperature will also go back down. But if I heat the other side, what happens? is the um, electrons flow in the other direction. And so if, if I um, start heating this left side, you'll see the, the voltage will start to, to reverse. In theory, let's see here. There it goes. Okay, so the voltage is starting to go down and eventually it'll start going negative. Okay, there it goes. So now we're at a negative two ten thousandths. We only have a 10 degree difference there. And then negative one millivolt, there we go. So that's about a 20 degree difference. So ideally what I'll do is I'll make a an, uh, P type. This is, a, this is an N type semiconductor. So I'll make a P type semiconductor and then I kind of put them um, back and forth to each other and I can I can dramatically increase the voltage that's my my next step